Hey, how's it going? My name's Alex and recently I had an idea for a video and so I think, I really think it's an all original idea, never been done before and it's 100% my own. I came up with it all by myself. I'm obviously joking, but the video idea is actually uh, how much I spend in, in a week driving this pickup truck. This is what I do, it's called hotshot trucking um, and that's basically driving a pickup with some sort of trailer and you haul other companies or other people's goods around the country, around the United States. And so this past week, that's exactly what I did. I kept track of my expenses diligently. I do want you to keep in mind though that this is a slightly above average week in expenses. Usually it is a little bit less. So without further ado, let's jump into this video, how much I spent this past week driving my pickup truck for work. Okay, so let's get into these expenses. You can see right here the date. I just made it a quick uh, spreadsheet just so that it's easier to look at. But essentially, the first day, I'm only gonna explain this first day and then we'll just zoom through the daily things really quickly and afterwards we'll count up the totals. So the first day for food, 105 bucks and 58 cents. That's a lot and the only reason that is because I met up with someone on the road and I paid for their lunch. So it, usually it's never that high for food. And that day I was actually just sitting looking for loads at the truck stop. So I I just idled the truck all day um, so that means I only spent 78 bucks on because you know one one full tank and then $15 I actually had to buy some duct tape inside the truck stop um, so that that's what that was for and that'll be the miscellaneous charges like the ones that I go over that are like usually kind of rare and don't happen often so then the next day obviously uh, $34 I spent on food 186 I spent on fuel uh, because that day I actually got loaded and drove but didn't you know didn't drive that far because you know you first couple hours of the day you're loading up and so that's why that's 186 bucks. The notable charge this day is I spent $97 on a tripod and $16 for a phone holder for the tripod. So that was an expensive day for equipment. Moving on from there, the next day, 37 bucks, 229 on fuel. The notable charge for today is I actually spent $10.04 for a Starbucks cup of coffee. Granted, the Starbucks was on the toll road, and so that's probably one of the reasons it was more expensive than normal. But yeah, Graham Stephan would be really, really disappointed. Dave Ramsey would be counting how much interest I lost on. But yeah, $10.04 for one Starbucks cup of coffee. Moving on from there, we got $35.48 on fuel, and I believe this is now the weekend, so I mean, you know, I'm getting a lot of miles in, so that's why it's over, over $200, well over $200 for fuel. The notable charge for today is $340 for tolls. Now, the way the toll roads work is they charge you once and you use up the amount, and once that amount gets low, they recharge your account. So even though I maybe didn't use $340 in tolls this week, that was charged to my card and so I might have a little bit left over for next time I'm on the toll roads and this it was this was a cross-country trip so I got 33 bucks of for food here 231 on fuel and the noteworthy charge for today is actually a $64 truck and trailer wash I do like it when my truck and trailer are clean and so I did get a truck and trailer wash uh, on on the last day and that's actually the last notable charge for the week and the last couple days right here this is when I'm finishing out the week I'm wrapping up my deliveries um, so I should be almost there. Uh, so this is coming up towards the end of it. And so you can see right there, $37 for fuel, 36 for fuel uh, on that day, and then 204 and 127 respectfully. So now let's count up all of these totals and see what number we come to. I want you to keep in mind that these are slightly above average numbers. I don't go this hard or I don't run as hard every week. However, this was just one week when I started keeping track and it turned out to be a decent week. So my gross business revenue was $5,600 for this past week. And I did a whopping total of 3,400 miles, okay? It was just under, but almost 3,400 miles I did this past week. And so that comes out to uh, about a buck 64 a mile. So right here, so $5,600 divided by 3,400 miles equals $1.64. Cents, and that's not bad for a non CDL hotshot. Keep in mind, guys, that this does include I had a little bit of deadhead. Now, my two biggest expenses are mileage based, which means that the more miles I do, the higher they are, the less miles I do, the less they are. So, those two expenses are my fuel and my truck. So, this past week, I spent $1,000. 
$290 on fuel. But here's the thing, don't forget that this includes DEF because I just, you know, all the charges all together. And this also includes that I idle almost every night. And so in reality, this, you know, cents per mile cost, so $1,290, uh, $1,290 divided by 3,400 miles, that's 37.94 cents a mile on fuel. That includes DEF and idling. And I already did a previous video where I explained that idling every night, about 30 nights a month, or, you know, 25 nights a month, I forget what it was, that's like $600 a month in extra expenses. So, so keep in mind that even though this is kind of high, there's probably at least $100 or $200 roughly in idling alone. Now, the second largest expense is actually this truck and it's actually a rental, I don't own it. And for the rental, I pay a flat 22 cents a mile. And so based on 22 cents a mile times the 3,400 miles that I did last week, that gives us a grand total of $748 for the truck. So between my truck, which is $748, and my fuel, which is $1,290, I spent this past week alone $2,038 just to have it and to fuel it up. Moving on, we got my salary. I do pay myself a salary, $1,200, and my wife takes care of all of the expenses at home. That $1,200 is for her to pay the house bills, our, my personal phone, the personal, any personal expenses, their food costs, and of course, to take care of her and our three daughters. One really quick observation. If you notice that I pay myself $1,200 a week, and this past week, I did 3,400 miles. That means I paid myself 35 cents a mile. And so if you are actually looking and watching my videos and you're looking to get into this business, think about it, you're gonna pay yourself about 35 to 40 cents a mile. Keep that in mind. The reason that's important is that right now some companies that are hiring drivers brand new to drive semi trucks where it's more comfortable to sleep and your home more often, they actually pay the same in between 35 and 40 cents a mile right when you start and the pay goes up from there. So keep that in mind if you are looking to get the, into this business. Moving on to the total for the food and that's $319.47. So that is a little higher than normal. Um, I, I think it's right around $1,000 a month. So that's like right, right around 250, you know, it's in, in between 200 and $250 a week usually for food. And that is kind of high, but it's only because because guys, I eat at the truck stops. I don't have any food with me in the truck and truck stop prices are just expensive. I mean, you know, I try to eat healthy. So when I grab a salad, it's like $6.99 for just one measly salad. And I usually try to grab two of them. And then, you know, it, it's just ridiculous how expensive the truck stops are. So that's why the food cost is high. And then don't forget, I do have insurance. I have to have, you know, a commercial policy to do this for work. And that policy is like $1,200 a month. And then I pay $225 for the enterprise rental. So that's like $1,425 a month. And so when you divide that by four weeks in a month, that's $356.25. And so here's all the miscellaneous charges added up right here. So it's $429. So that was between the toll road, the truck wash, the, you know, the Starbucks coffee. And then last but not least, I do have a couple of load boards. I have a phone. I have a internet connection. So a couple of minor office charges. And those are like, you know, the load board, for example, is $150 a month. And I have two of them. So that's 300 bucks. Then the phone plan is like $300 for the, for the month. And so when you divide it by four, it does come out to about 200 bucks a week. So when you add up all of those expenses, the grand total that I spent this last week is $4,542.92. That is how much I spent for the week. So think about that. You know, I spent 4,600 bucks, we'll call it, in the past week. That's more than some people make in an entire month. And I just spent that in this past week. And now if you recall, our total was, our revenue was 5,600. So we have about, you know, roughly right around $1,000 to set aside for either a maintenance fund for the trailer, because I don't have a trailer maintenance fund, or my trailer's paid off, I just don't, I, the only thing I have to do is upkeep it. That's actually pretty accurate, because if I do over $5,000, I can usually set aside at least $500 for the savings account, and the other three, four, 500 bucks a week, I can set aside for a trailer maintenance repair fund, or something along those lines, maybe taxes if anything is left over. But I realize I could be doing a better job of savings or setting aside money for unforeseen expenses down the road. But with the rental, I'm not responsible for any maintenance. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the video. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments down below. How do your expenses compare? Is there areas that I could save? Actually, <laughs> I mean, I know there's areas I could save. I could probably spend way less on food. I could probably spend a little less on the truck. And
and if I were to slow down just a little bit or maybe go way below the speed limit like 55 60 to 62 miles an hour I could probably increase my mpg and reduce my fuel cost for sure so I know I could be doing a better job and that's the plan for 2020 try to cut costs and save where I can and so that's what I'm going to work on in this next coming year and I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below what do you think about my expenses what do you think about my my revenue or profit and I know this was a slightly above average week but it's not far off and it was totally by accident that I started to record all my numbers and then I did have a slightly above average week because of it. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video. Bye.